Hi, this is Ian Thompson, Remax of Nanaimo, and today we have the March sales report. Can you believe it's uh, April already? Boy, it's beautiful today. Nice and sunshine. Feels good. So what we're going to do is start off with the sales report right at the beginning, as we do here with the uh, March sales report. This time I've broken it down for single family condominiums and townhomes on their own slide. So you can see this. And if you want to copy this report, just let me know. I'm happy to uh, email it to you. OK, so first off, let's start with single family. As we do 2023, we know 101 single family homes sold all over Nanaimo. And last year, 145, as we go through the numbers here, 2021, 193, 2020, 90, and 2019, 94, which is interesting. We sold more homes than we did pre-COVID way back here in 2019, although it doesn't feel like it. It's an interesting, interesting market with inventory, and we'll get to that in a minute here. Average price. Last month, they did medium price. People said, hey, why don't you go back to average? So let's go back to average. Why not? See what it says. 763000 was our average price for a single family home. 975000 last year. No surprise. 749 and 21. 592 and 544. Look at those jumps from 2019. And this is the number of active listings. We're still low. 210. And um, can't emphasize that enough when we're out with buyers looking, there's not a lot to choose from. And we get to the final points. That's why I think it's a good time to get your home in the market right now. If you've been thinking of selling, there's buyers there for sure. 210 homes on the market. Last year, 174 back to 2019, 313. You can see how many fewer homes there are for sale, about 100 fewer. MOI is months of inventory. This does determine the strength of a market, what's happening. Clearly, we're still in a seller's market when you only have two months of inventory. There aren't any deals anymore. Those deals happened in November and December. I was talking with my friend Adam in the parking lot, and uh, we were just chatting about that. And deal the deals were last fall, and right now, the sellers are uh, in control for sure with only two months of inventory. For um, It's going to take that long to sell those 210 listings okay so let's move on to condominiums what do we have here 21 sold this year 37 a year ago 39 and 21 13 and 20 and 34 in 2019 so down a bit from there isn't it average price look at these jumps 482 now 462 last year 382 341 and 292 so big jumps in multifamily pricing certainly the new construction that's going on town you've seen those buildings all over the place whether it's behind you know, the Grand Hotel or any of those ones where they came on the market, prices are higher, you know, well over 500, which is pushing our average price up. Number of uh, listings at the moment, 79, uh, 50 a year ago, and back to 2019, 71. Months of inventory, 3.7, so a little bit more than single family at two, but still definitely uh, seller's territory. Might take a little longer to sell than some people are uh, hoping per se, if you're in a condominium that isn't selling quickly. But still, uh, those prices keep it in the uh, seller's market. And townhomes, here we are for 23, 17. In 2022, 34, 47, 26, and 13. Average price is 509. Number of listings, 48. And months of inventory, 2.8. There really are not a lot of townhomes for sale. And townhomes, sometimes they get together, you know, with stairs or without stairs. But patio homes, anything without stairs right now, there's not much there. So if you have one of those to sell, that should sell pretty quickly. Okay, so my takeaways for the March sales report. Here we go. Inventory remains low. We've talked about that. Prices firming up. Don't see big price reductions. That doesn't mean prices aren't being, uh, homes aren't being listed over market. And then we see price reductions. I mean, that happens in any market, doesn't it? Some people just want to try higher and fair enough. It's your own home and everybody has the right to do that. Uh, more multiple offers. The next point, yes. Uh, probably three times in the last two weeks. A lot of talk about that with buyers agents being in multiple offer situations, not going hundreds over, but still the idea is to compete is back again. Market busiest since the summer of 2022, I think. If you've been considering selling your home in the next 12 weeks, will be the best time for sure and still a seller's market, okay? So that's the sales report for this month. If you'd like a copy, let me know. Send me an email, ian at ianthompsonrealestate.com. And if you'd like to get together, Talk about real estate, selling your house, buying your house, or just chat about the market. Happy to do that. Just reach out at 250-616-3641. Okay, have a great day.